school was really stressing me and i just i i was just i was just going through all the hello lovely people thank you for coming back and if you are new here welcome to my channel my name is gifty and i make natural hair care and lifestyle videos so if that's something you are interested in then please subscribe to my channel so that you see more videos from me and also don't forget to put on your notification bell so that you get notified whenever i post a video so in today's video i'll be reacting to a random video that i saw on youtube this video the, the title of this video is dear university i want my money back and it's so funny like i saw this video at a point at a time that like school was really stressing me and i just i i was just i was just going through all the feelings and emotions so but then i, I also wanted to react to it so i, I didn't watch it because i wanted you to see my like first hand reaction i didn't want to watch it and then write down things and then i'll watch it and act like that's that's my first impression of the video so yeah without talking too much let's get right into the video so i don't know i'm expecting it to be like a student just going through it you know school is stressing him and he just can't take it anymore so i'm expecting that kind of reaction you know so let's see what it's really about <laughs> Lord, <laughs> I've, I've, I've gone through this before like I've literally cried because of a subject before like cried real tears <laughs> so it's just so funny <laughs> I'm not doing okay this place is literally the ghetto I want to get out I'm not doing okay this place is literally the ghetto I want to get out and by place I'm not talking about location that's the thing let's not define place by just the location the place is university as the concept Finally, your university is already the hood. I prepared myself for that. I was always told that your final year is really going to stretch you. But um, to do my final year in the midst of a global pandemic, what's been taught online? No. First of all, the thing is, I can't really blame university. This is bigger than us. I was told that we'd be doing blended learning. Blended learning meaning the big lectures would be online smaller stuff so seminars tutorials supervisions would be on campus maybe i'm glad the teachers not get their shit together for this year and i'm gonna drag everyone that needs to be dragged in this video because i can and i gosh well my problem is why could y'all not practice over summer we're in what week six and my teachers and seminar teachers are still struggling to share their screen they're still struggling to upload lectures on time why did y'all not have a free trial over summer so that when the new academic term starts y'all know what's up that's one thing i'd like to understand because this is this has become a hate crime back to my point there's just too much to do i'm balancing what I'm about to six modules avec mon dissertation with my dissertation. My question is why can't I just learn for learning's sake? Why can't I just watch lectures, absorb the knowledge, and just keep it stepping? And then give you like a QA. Did you understand this at the end of the year? Let me pass. My issue is why am I being examined? Why am I being tested? Why am I being essayed? Like that's the thing. I don't want that assignment part. This is one thing people don't understand. Because when I complain about this shit, everyone's like, yeah, but you still want to do a master. Do you still want to do a PhD? Correct. Correct. And I still do. I like learning. I like education. I like engaging with the subjects I'm engaging with. I sort of probably you're asking me to complete assignments like you pay my bills, okay? When you haven't taught me sufficiently. Do you see the problem we have here? The last two days have been very rough for me. I've not curved out my hair. I don't think I've done an actual skincare routine. I have Yesterday I had a seminar and I promise you I really just wanted to skip it. And I said, you know what? My father is paying for this damn degree. So I tuned in. I was lying in bed. I was on Microsoft Teams on this phone. And I promise you I said not one word. <laughs> for the entire two hours. 
<laughs> and then at the end, I'm at the audacity to turn on my mic to say thank you <laughs> and close it out because the seminar ended. You see the problem? I can't believe I'm about to say this, but I miss physical university. Me I look too. back and I remember me saying, oh, online school would be so much easier. No. Yeah. And he's from February 2020 was a liar. Because now I look back and I miss the day to day. You know, bumping into someone you don't really like, but like because of formalities, you grab a <laughs> coffee and just have like a catch up, but really, truly, everything is fake. Give me that. I want it back. Take care of yourself. Mental health matters. How dare you be a 702 tough mind and ask how I'm doing mentally when you are causing me mental disarray and distress? <laughs> you are the problem. I can't do this anymore. Definitely what, not what I was expecting, you know, like he said a lot of things, but I was not expecting it to be like this because, you know, it was the the thumbnail was so dramatic, like, and then the title, it made me feel like it was going to be someone like breaking down, crying, wailing, yeah, but it wasn't like that. But he really made some points in the video. Yeah, it's yeah. my take on the video. I had to stop the video and go and write them down. But yeah, here's my take on the video. So first of all, I can't relate to the part that he says his teachers, like some of his teachers don't know, even know how to use the software that they are supposed to use. They are supposed to use to teach them online. Yeah, I can't relate to that because for us, our online, we just use um, Zoom and then Google classroom and then sometimes our teachers post some online lectures on our school website so 
the users really know how to use all those yeah so for that i can relate to that and then the second one about him missing physical learning yeah i also do miss physical learning because honestly it's the best way because with this online learning it's really not helping it's, it's not helping at all like it's not helping the point is online learning is not helping because you know with physical learning that like, you know that like if you don't learn you don't know it and if you go to class um, and they ask you a question you you don't know how to like answer it you know so you will learn you will learn even if no matter what you make time to learn but i think with the online learning is that you know that uh, even if even if you don't learn like and they ask you a question you can quickly search it and then read it to the teacher like without him seeing because you know you use skills to do that yeah so so that's one thing and also because of you know with online too the time is limited so for example for me for a class that we're supposed to have for like maybe three hours with breaks like we have it like sometimes we have it for like one class for 40 minutes or like two times 40 minutes twice yeah so it's really not helping it's basically like we are just um your, the teacher is expecting you to also do your part you know but are you really doing it you know are you doing it yeah the teacher is expecting you to like read the entire material that you're supposed to read for the class so that like when you go he'll just test your knowledge like little little of what you know like he'll just test your knowledge to check just a little of what you know but are you really doing your part that's a rhetoric question so ask yourself that i have asked myself that and i know my answer you know so yeah online learning is not really helping yeah but given the circumstances and the condition there's really not much that we just can also do we all just have to do our part but the question is are we really doing our part yeah and then the testing and exams part like oh gosh test and exams like and it's so bad that like for here in ukraine like we do test every day like for every topic that you have you're going to do a test on it yeah so basically it, it ends up being like you're just studying for your test you're just studying to pass the test you're not taking your time to study research and understand yeah but you just want to study and know something just so that you can write your test and go and we all know that if you study in such a hurry you end up forgetting even if you even those days that you take your time to study very well those days where you forget how much more when you study in a hurry just to pass the test you know so I don't know what they can do to change that system but i don't they are not going to change it we just have to you know find a way to work with it so yeah and then the last one church <laughs> online church jeez online church online church is really not the same it's not the same as going to church physically you know yeah because with online church it's so easy to get distracted one minute you are saying amen and the next minute you are liking somebody's picture on instagram or replying to a message on whatsapp yeah so it's really not the same at all so i definitely do miss those things but right now my church is back we are back offline so yeah that's good it's really it really helps it really helps online church is it's really not the same it's not the same it's not the same like it's not the same i don't even know how to stress it it's really not the same you know and i know <laughs> okay and then one thing uh, like the fact that he said that like, he misses like sunday brunch or sunday lunch you know after church when they'll go somewhere to eat and distress you know like, i was like goals <laughs> that's something i would like to do <laughs> because like it's, it's really nice like one day you close from church and you and your friends you go somewhere right after church to eat and talk it would be so nice it would be such a nice thing to do and then here like in my experience every sunday right from church you are just in a hurry to come and do your things like you can start, start studying for your lesson for your class on monday so yeah that's something i would like to incorporate in my routine in the future you know sunday brunch right after church my friends and i will just go somewhere to eat but i'm sure that'll be that'll probably be after medical school i mean right now the year after church i'm always in a hurry to go to my room to go and study like to go and do my things so that i can study later 
yeah so that's my take on this video i know like you watch it and you also have your opinion so if you have anything that you would like to share you can leave it in the comment section yeah but i really want to say that the video was really not what i was expecting like i was really not expecting it to be like this but all in all i enjoyed it and i hope you did too so if you did don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't okay if you like this video and you want to see more from me subscribe 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 thank you so much for watching see you subscribe <laughs> See you in my next video. Bye. Caroline wants you to hear words of the cheerful.